Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video we will discuss how to use Dynamics 365 binaries or DLLs or you can say SMLs in our project in a correct way. If you are a Dynamics 365 developer, I am sure that you are already aware of adding DLLs to your project. But is that the correct process you are following? My name is Sanjay Prakash and I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer. So let's start how to uh, use DLLs in our project in a correct way. So I hope you are able to see my screen. Okay, so in this screen, uh, you can see my Visual Studio is there and I have multiple projects in my solution, right? Because in Visual Studio solution, we might have multiple projects. Now, with pro the project which is targeted to communicate with your Dynamics 365 server, you have to add the required DLLs that are coming from Microsoft SDK, right? So to enable or to install your DLL or binaries to this project, you have to first right click this and click on manage NuGet packages. In previous versions, we normally you know, uh, download SDK uh, folder from the internet provided by Microsoft side. Then we extract that uh, SDK. Then there, there was a bin folder and we copy from there. But going forward, do not do that. Always use this ma manage NuGet package because uh, when you use this manage NuGet package, then you get multiple versions of that assembly. Now, once you click this manage NuGet package, you will find there are three options here, browse, install and updates. Okay. Now, if you have not installed already, installed already, then you have to search your uh, DLL here, right? Just search Microsoft. Then you will find Microsoft.crmsdk.core assemblies. You can find here. Click this. Now, always remember that if when you click this first option, which is saying that Microsoft.crmsdk.core assemblies, you will find there are many versions available here at the right side. Right? This table version is 9.0.2.29. Now, when we uh, the best practice is always choose a older version because uh, there are high chance that some objects will not work when you use uh, latest uh, version of your uh, core assemblies, CRMST core assemblies, um, because uh, uh, because your uh, .NET framework that you have used in your project, console application or website, whatever, the .NET uh, framework may not support the latest version of uh, CRMST core assemblies. So always uh, remember to choose a older version. For now, I am choosing this uh, 6.1.0. Uh, then once you have chosen the version, you have to click install. As soon as you click install, it will prompt you to uh, accept some condition, right? Visual Studio is able to make changes to the solution. So click OK. And at this stage, it will try to install the application. Once you click on I accept, this is the license agreement that you have to read through and click accept. As soon as you accept all the core assemblies that are part of Microsoft CRM SDK will be installed in our reference folder of our current project. As our current project is my console application. And here you can see in the reference, I do not have you know, CRM related SDKs. But once this package is installed in a short while, I will find all the related assemblies in this reference folder. You can see it is trying to update one by one. Now CRM uh, SDK proxy is installed, uh, Microsoft Excel SDK is installed. Okay. And the status will also display once it is success. We're still trying to update. It will take some uh, couple of seconds. It may not take much time. Now, once it is installed, now we are able to add the namespaces that are part of this binaries. If the namespace is like Microsoft.sdk dot Microsoft.xrm.sdk dot DLL, then you can use it. If it is here MSDK dot proxy DLL, you can use it in your class file, right? let us wait if it is successfully installed or not and once it is installed we can go to our class file or program.cs where i can add required namespaces okay uh, it will take some couple of seconds more okay now it is installed right now as it is successfully installed you can see in this window you can find on install option enable for you at any time you can uninstall the uh, NuGet package that you have already installed if you don't want, right? So I don't want to uninstall right now, but I, I will close it and I will go to my program class. Then I can use my required namespaces like using. So I can write down using Microsoft dot so using Microsoft dot XRM. dot stk right now once you added this you can build this 
and it will not throw error it will not it will be successfully uh, you know compiled because we have already added all the binaries that are part of xrm sdk so this is how you can uh, use nuget package to install your required sms when you are working on a custom uh, application uh, for dynamics 365 so thank you for your time and please subscribe my channel i am adding more technical videos on dynamics 365 space and also power platform space so see you in the next video thank you